Hello everyone, this is Jack from Obedia. Today I wanted to go over a couple Mac OS X tips that should help you in your audio workflows. Let's get started. Okay, so the first tip that I want to go through is when you use your uh, volume up and down buttons, you will get your uh, little volume display here. Now, personally, a lot of times I have that hooked up to my computer hooked up to studio monitors, and I really hate that little beep or that, that little noise that happens uh, when I turn things up and down. So I turn this preference off. It's normally by default on, which is uh, play feedback when volume is changed. And then I'm getting this kind of sound, which normally I don't want. So I can turn that off and uh, then I'm just turning it up and down silently. So that's nice. The other thing that uh, is helpful with this is sometimes, as you notice, uh, when I'm turning this up and down, it's too big of an increment. I would like sometimes to have a little bit more control over that. So if I hold Option and Shift, then I, if you notice down there at the bottom of the screen, I'm getting smaller increments of turning the, uh, the sound up and down, which can be helpful. Uh, the next tip that I want to talk about is actually selecting your output device. So normally the way to do that is to go to system preferences and to go to sound and then your output and then change it here. However, you can also do that or access that menu just by holding option and clicking on the, um, the little speaker up in the right hand corner of your screen. And then you see output devices and input devices. This is pretty useful because if you have an audio interface like I do, for instance, with my Universal Audio Apollo, I can just shift the output from headphones or my display audio or my interface without going into system preferences. I just hold down option and then click on that and then it comes up with those preferences. Um, by the way, the, everything that I'm doing right now is within OS X 10.9.5, which is Mavericks. Um, there's Yosemite and then El Capitan, which is, um, if it's not already out, it should be out soon. Um, these tips should work in all of those operating systems so far. Uh, the last thing that I want to talk about today, just as another quick tip, is actually a third-party application called Cheat Sheet. And what this does is this is this little free application that will help you remember shortcuts. So I'm a big proponent of shortcuts uh, and, and using the keyboard as much as possible so I don't have to waste time clicking things. And what this application does is it gives you a little cheat sheet. So if, for instance, right now I've got Ableton open and if I want to uh, do something and I've forgotten the actual um, uh, shortcut for that, the keyboard shortcut, I can hold down command with cheat sheet involved and it will pop open the shortcut menu. Now this is automatically generated from some data within each application. So it's not a 100% complete uh, shortcut list for that application. Obviously Ableton has a lot of other shortcuts than just the ones that are listed. But the cool thing is, is that I don't have to have a specific keyboard, like one of those shortcut keyboards for each application. Uh, I can learn some uh, shortcuts and then from each application I can just hold down command and then go in there and see what's going on. This will also work just in Finder. Even if I have Finder open and hold down command, um, this will work in there too. Um, certain applications it may have more options than others. Uh, you can also go down here and once Cheat Sheet is uh, active, you can set how long the delay. So a lot of times if I'm doing things in uh, Pro Tools or whatever, I may have command held for a couple seconds and I can change how long that delay is. So s some people might want a little bit longer delay so that way you can hold it, you know, and, and do other things with applications and then hold it for a longer period of time and then Cheat Sheet will open. Uh, you can also print this list of different uh, shortcuts, which is useful. So hopefully those three little tips uh, will help you kind of navigate things uh, day to day with all of your different DAWs and audio applications. Uh, please check out the other videos on our YouTube and I will see you next time. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. 
Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost-effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.